I can turn a page. One look at Sophie Diaz. She's a typical taller. Hardly shows what she's been through. I, I can't take back what that person did to my child, and that hurts. Sophie was abused by her babysitter when she was four months old. Her babysitter, Desiree Rankin, is serving three months in jail for child abuse. Then she's on probation. You know, if I can prevent another child from getting hurt, then it's it's worth it, you know, just to keep to keep fighting. This weekend, Diaz is aiming for prevention with a child abuse walk during Child Abuse Month. For me, it was important to put we are their voices and be my voice because we are the only voice for the children. Jennifer Diaz says the walk will start in Bellevue. It will end here at the Peace Bell in Newport. The reason she wants to plan 225 pinwheels here to educate people about the very real problem of child abuse. It's right across the street from the courthouse where the woman was sentenced that who, um, who was convicted of the crime of the abuse and the Peace Bell it represents peace and it's a central location where everybody can see the pinwheels. Diaz is also working with lawmakers on Sophie's Law. She hopes to create a child abuser registry so no parent will need to worry about who's caring for their child. In Bellevue, Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5. So the walk starts again in Bellevue at 1145 this coming Saturday morning. It is open to the public. Speakers will share stories and information there at the Pete's Bell in Newport before they plant the pinwheels.